So hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our Tuesday night live. And uh, the last we had, we just did a whole series where we cooked really healthy, like fast, but tasty, picky husband approved, kid approved, like breakfast that I ate to lose weight and all the things, but we're not in the kitchen tonight. Uh, tonight we are going to be having a special guest on who I am so excited to talk to. You're going to be excited to hear from her. Uh, if you have not been here before, welcome. So good to see you. I want to go ahead and invite you to smash the like button. Give her some encouragement down below in the comments. Uh, tonight, if, you, if you've been on the channel at all, then you saw last week we actually launched our next season coming up of The Biggest Transformation. We have season 11. The applications just opened up and uh, this woman went through season nine of The Biggest Transformation. You're going to hear her story, how much she lost, how she was able to beat the cycle of dieting and uh, a struggle with her weight that spanned decades. And you were going to leave feeling excited and inspired and because that's how I feel when I talk to her and when I hear her story. So without further ado, help me welcome Miss Donna. Hi, Carmen. So good to be here with you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Isn't exactly. technology amazing? Like you just pop up. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, anyway, well, welcome. Uh, so for those just watching, this is Donna. And Donna recently finished up with season nine of The Biggest Transformation, where she lost 48 pounds, just under 50 pounds in six months. Yes. And uh, Donna, so why don't, I think I want to start here. Why don't you tell us where you were? Let's go back because there's so many things I want to talk to you about, but let's start at the beginning. Where were you like six months ago? Like where were you prior to applying for the program for season nine? Like where were you at? What were you doing? How was life? How was health? Um, life was good. Retired, of course. Um, life was good, but I was overweight. I always went to my doctor for my annual physicals and weight, weight was always out of whack. Uh, and it has been for 30 plus years. So um, cholesterol was good. Diabetes was good. Her blood pressure was good. All that was good. The only thing out of whack was my weight. And it was 60 plus pounds that I was carrying around. As a result of that, two years ago, I had a double knee replacement. And it, it was, it, you know, it just changed her whole life after that knee replacement. But you know, as some of you may know, my daughter drug me to this process, this journey. I went screaming and kicking. And uh, but man, I am so glad she pushed me and she pushed me to doing it. And, and it's just been an amazing journey, amazing six month journey. Can't believe where I am now, where I was six months ago at 211 pounds. I mean, amazing. That is two. So, so when you six months ago, you were at 211.6 pounds, and yes. then now in the 160s, almost in the 150s. Yes, like that is. And so, I heard a couple of things you said. First off, uh, you talked about, and I don't know if I've heard this full story. So, you said your daughter Hannah, who they her and her daughter Hannah actually did the season nine together, they were both they both applied, they both got in. Hannah lost uh, over 30 pounds for the first time in her adult life. She's in a size two, a small, extra small. She's as fit as she can ever remember being. Yeah. And so, oh, she looks so, her recent family photos, She, I told her she looked like, uh, what, who, who's that girl from um, Greece? Sandra D. She looked like Sandra D. She looks incredible. Anyway, so you say that she drug you into that what, what do you mean by that how did she drag you for two weeks i mean she knew that the season nine applications were open and for two weeks she says mom have you sent your application and i said no i haven't no i haven't mom next day mom no i haven't she says mom you've got to apply i've already sent mine in you've got to apply and it's like i didn't have belief in myself she had that belief in me but i didn't have it in myself so I applied and yes, we were both selected and it's like, okay, what do we do now? 
we knew the beautiful Carmen was going to lead us and lead us she has, but it was just, yes, it was, um, it was mind blowing that we got in to begin with. And then how easy you have made it. It's been the hardest, easiest thing I've done. It's, it's just been amazing. Isn't that crazy? It is. And so what ultimately made you, because, you know, weight loss can be, I, I completely get it. Weight loss can be a private thing to let anybody else in on your struggles is, uh, I don't know, it's intimidating. It's scary. We think that we can do it by ourselves. We just need to get focused. Uh, because I think most of us, like we know how to lose weight, right? Like we yes. know move more, eat less. Like we know those things. What ultimately was the tipping point for you to say, fine, I'm doing it. <laughs> I knew I would not be blessed by my daughter if I didn't, you know, it just, uh, I had to get, I had to get in there and get that done. So, but yes, um, let's see, I'm out of the camera here. Uh, yes. I mean, she just said, mom, you've got to do it. And my husband has some health issues and I know that if I did it, I would be cooking and I'm the leader of my home as far as cooking and all that. So I knew whatever I fixed, he would eat. And so, yes, he has lost some pounds and he's cut his insulin intake, which is amazing also. So, yes, very proud of him. And he has supported me the whole way. It's so amazing. So you yeah. lost, you said that you had struggled with your weight for 30 plus years. Yes. And so late, 80s, late 80s, probably when I remember being probably this small. Wow. The 80s. Yeah. So that yeah. is, so yes. let's like 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. And I want to touch on something because so often when we struggle with our weight for that long, you know, I was a cereal dieter as well. I, I called myself a weight loss failure because I didn't want to be overweight. I tried things, but I never succeeded. Right. And so often, and I love that you said this, we build it up in our brain that it's going to be so hard because we failed so many times. Yeah. And you said it was the hardest, easiest thing you've ever done. Right. What do you mean by that? To everyone else watching, who's like, what are you talking about? Easy. <laughs> well, you give us all the pieces of the puzzle. I mean, we have to have everything together. You have to have your food intake. You have to have your water intake, um, the mindset. I mean, um, the movement. I mean, for me to believe that I have worked out six days a week since early September, not missed a day. Uh, you know, you, you just you just put everything together for us and it just makes it so easy. I mean, never in my wildest dreams would I have taken that I would ever thought I would have taken scales on a trip, scales to the lake, when we go to the lake for the weekend uh, and stay in the camper, I would never have thought, okay, I'm packing my scales. I mean, I think about you know, clothes and food, but never scales, but um, don't leave the house now without them. Um, you know, and that will be um, for the rest of my life. I mean, uh, you know, we have to, we have to stay on top of it. Once we lose it, we have to stay on top of it, but it's, it's been a great journey, amazing journey. What, what do you think has been the thing that surprised you the most? Because obviously you got started. And for those watching that don't know, uh, so the biggest transformation only comes around three times a year and people apply to get in because it, I can only take a very small number and it's a six month program. And we literally walk you through what to do, how to do it, what to eat, how much water to drink, moving your body 30 minutes a day. And then there's a whole community and support group with yes. weekly meetings and like we walk we we literally tackle all the things inside that cause us to be overweight right and so once they apply i you know because you're already a little nervous about applying so once you apply you get a video that outlines the whole program yeah. and that video is kind of very upfront because i don't want there to be any bait and switch like i want people to know that hey we've got a hundred percent success rate this sucker gets results but you've got to do the work so exactly. when you got that video, were you ever like, holy crap, what did I sign up for? Yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, knowing I had my double knee replacement, you know, I was carrying 60 plus pounds. It's like, you know, can I do this? Can I even do this? But yes, I've done it and, and it's it's been easy, easy. And I thought my age too would be a hindrance, you know, 66 years old and oh, 60 pounds overweight and double knee replacement, but yet I've moved every day for six months. 
or six six times a week, um, you know, at least 30 minutes. And one program I did, I, I was doing it an hour a day, you know, the 80 day obsession. So I was doing movement an hour a day. So, and you just feel good. Um, you just feel good after you do it. So, and once the weight starts coming off, it's like, okay, it's not going to stop now. We're going all the way. When I love that you talked about that, because so often as we get older, we have kids, we have grandkids, and I can only really speak for women, but there's almost like this pass or this expectation that we're going to gain weight. And then when you go as far as having to have surgeries or knee replacements, it's all these self-limiting beliefs. Like I can't lose the weight. I can't move. I could never work out. So how did you deal with that? Having double knee replacement, working out, losing 50, 48 pounds in six months, like and you're 66. You just had a birthday. Happy birthday, by the way. Okay. Uh, so talk to, because there's people that are going to watch us that are either are in the same boat as you, or they have friends and family that are in the same boat as you. So how did you do that being 66, double knee replacement, and still do a program like this where you are moving your body, you are eating, you were able to get the weight. I mean, that's a lot of weight in six months, Donna. Like you have crushed it. So like they want to know how, like, what are some of the things that you attribute? Like, did you ever feel like that played a, what did you do if your knees bothered you? Or, or there, was there any way that you felt like it hindered you or your age hindered you? I felt a hindrance to begin the program at all. I mean, I mean, you know, to even start it, you know, I thought, well, I've had this, I've had this, I'm this, 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 this. And it's like, you know, again, those beliefs, you just have to get out of the way. Um, and once you get past that, then it's easy once you start. And yes, I have a video from one of my first workouts and I was just like, I was moving and I was keeping up, but there is modifications. If, if you are limited, there are modifications that you can do. And yes, I did the modifications, but you know, once you start, it's just, you just know that you can finish. And getting on the floor, getting up off the floor, staying with the um, the exercise leader, um, watching the programs. I mean, it's just, you just have to believe it in your mind. And once you believe it in your mind, then it becomes possible. It becomes possible. And again, a, a, a saying that I've had the whole time, nothing changes until something changes. Yes. You know? So I had to change my mind, my age. I couldn't change my age if I had to changed my belief about my age, my belief about my double knee replacements, and my belief about my weight. And, you know, you had us cast a vision and it's like that vision is, I can see it now. I can, I can see it. I'm within 15 pounds of being at my goal. And it's like, I can see that vision now, you know, it, it's, it's just mind boggling. It really is so crazy. You know, when I first started losing weight, similar situation, we, we build up all these limiting beliefs. And when I say similar, I was 288 pounds, the size 20, 22 just came out of having a baby. And so it's like, I can't do this. I can't do that. And isn't it, isn't it, I don't want to say funny, but it's ironic how we put all these limitations on ourselves, and how, when we do something that challenges us, we find out how strong we really are. Yes. And when I started that journey, I heard a saying, I think I've told you guys this, one of the trainers that I was working out with, he said, aging is for idiots. And I was like, well, that's awful, like ballsy to say. Mm -hmm. And it was so funny to me is everybody who's went through the program, like Donna, you like, it's like aging in reverse, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I, feel how, that way. I feel that way. Yes. Yes. So how does your body feel now after being in the program? How does your health feel? Like, what do you, like, what do you think when you look at where you're at, when you're doing the workouts and you look in the mirror and you're going shopping, like what, what goes through your head? Well, I look in the mirror and it's like, is this really me? You know, is this, I, I just can't, I, I do a double take a lot of times. Like, is this really me? I mean, the tummy's flattened a lot. Um, and I have to show this um, during the phase one, I lost 27 inches um, after I did my measurements. And this past week after phase two ended, and my husband, Frank, so gladly took helped me take my measurements again, I lost to seven and a quarter inches. So that's 34 inches. I mean, almost three feet of inches off my body, which 
so yes, when I walk by the mirror, I do do a double take many, many times. I just, I just can't believe that it's that I'm this, you know, so it's, it's, it's a good feeling. Makes you feel good that you can do it. How has your family and friends responded? What has been their response to this new Donna? Well, my mom can't believe it. She said, my mom, 84 year old mom, she said, I, I can't believe you're smaller than me now. You've always been larger than me. Now you're smaller than me. So that um, has um, given her reason to start walking more during the day, um, reason to bypass the donuts, <laughs> that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, so it, it, it's amazing. Once you start a journey like this, how many people you affect. Um, she was here in September with us for a couple of weeks and we had just started the program and Frank had this restaurant that we wanted to take her out to and we'd been there several times before and we had always gotten seafood platters that were fried, fried oysters, fried shrimp, fried fish, french fries, onion rings, the, everything was fried on the plate. So Frank wanted to take mom to this restaurant while she was here and we went and I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I'm on the program. I can't have anything fried. I, I choose not to have anything fried. And I ordered grilled fish and steamed vegetables. And I was the first one to order. And uh, my mom said, I had the same thing she had. And Frank said, well, I have the same thing they had. So it's like when you're doing a program like this, you affect everyone around you, but you don't realize how you're affecting others by the good habits that you are doing. So, and to be able to go to a restaurant and sit down, um, this past weekend, when you mentioned my birthday, we just had my birthday celebration. My son-in-law grilled salmon and a, we did asparagus and had a salad and then had a Shakeology cake. And I lost weight. The next morning I weighed in lower than I had before. So that's, that's another amazing thing. The food that I'm able to eat before and all the other weight loss ventures I wanted to cut back, cut back, cut back. And it's, no, you eat. You don't leave out any food groups. You eat and you measure it and you drink your water. So it's all good. I love that you said that because, you know, that I think for all of us that have done diets before, it has been most diets are based on deprivation. And I'm going to cut out carbs because carbs are the devil and I can't have this and I can't have that. And uh, you know, so often people will start the program and they'll be like, oh my gosh, this is so much food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I love that. I love that you shared that. And, you know, you kind of adjust, right? You start creating these healthy habits and you start to see changes in your body, which fuels you to want to keep going. Uh, what's been the biggest surprise for you? What, if anything, has surprised you? Um, first, that I could complete the program. And that I moved every day, that I did the movement, that I did the exercise programs and the snuggles with the hubby has gotten much better. Uh, uh, my uh, uh, grandson was out of on spring break last week and we went to a castle and I was able to walk up four flights of stairs with a backpack on and a little four, four year old Eli in hand and Sam ahead of us. And I was able to walk up the stairs, no problems, you know, and I know it's because I lost weight. And I kept thinking that day, I couldn't have done this last summer. I couldn't have done this last summer. You know, now I'm doing it. He wanted to go to the bell tower, which, but that was a straight up ladder. It wasn't steps. It was a straight up ladder. And I said, no, we can't do a straight up ladder with the three of us here. So, but yes, we went in the dungeon and went up the stairs where the skeletons were. So it was just great time with the grandsons being able to walk up and down the steps in the castle and showing them that castle. So it was great. How has losing the weight affected your knees? It, I mean, I didn't have any pain before, um, after the surgery. Um, but it, there's no issue now with the, with the, with the pain. I mean, not been an issue at all. So that's amazing. And have you had any doctor's appointments since you've started the program? Like, have you been to the doctor at all? Yes. Yes. Um, what they say? Do the well woman visits and um, last November. And again, I hadn't lost as much as I have now, but she asked me, she said, you're working out. And I said, yes. She said, 
are you doing a lot of squats? This is my gynecologist. She said, are you doing a lot of squats? And I said, yes, I, I am actually, actually, actually doing a lot of squats. She said, your whole pelvic floor has changed from last year. She said, it's tightened up, but everything is just better. And that's internally, you know? So mm -hmm. yes, that and my doctor, my, my primary care was grateful for the weight I'd lost and she encouraged me not to give up. She said, keep on, keep on. So yeah, I can't wait to go back this later this year for all my well woman visits and for the when I'm at goal and they see where I am now. Yeah, I can't wait. Isn't it funny how when we know we're unhealthy, we don't look forward to the doctor visit. No, at all. But because we're we're so afraid of the medicines or what's the doctor going to say or what's the scale going to say. I can remember wearing my lightest clothes to the doctor. <laughs> like I wasn't wearing nothing heavy. But when we get healthy, it's it's so ra it's so wild how that flips. Like now we look forward to going, right? Right. Um, I always take off my shoes, my jacket, like my purse down. I mean, everything I'm going to get on those scales. But, you know, now and now it won't be an issue at all. So. <laughs> so awesome. Oh, you know, I always think like the nurses got to know, like, you know, like there's got to be, and they just, I, I, I always would like, what do they think? Right. Anyway. So here's, here, here's what I want to wrap with. What would you, because I just love your whole story. And I love the fact that you shatter all of people's stereotypes about what it looks like to age. No, you don't have to be sedentary. No, you don't have to gain weight. You don't have to lack energy. You can have more snuggles with your husband in your 60s. You can do adventures with your kids and grandkids. And, you know, not you can be in the photos. I know you guys had family photos and uh, you were so excited to take them, yes. right? Versus yes. hiding in the background. And so like, all that can change even in your 60s. And so what would you say to somebody, Donna, who's in the spot where you are, where they've dieted, they're older than 50, they've had knee replacements and they're just like, I've tried it all and nothing works. Like, and they've just given up and accepted this extra weight. Like, what would you say to them? Don't let, don't let your mind stop you. I mean, God created this body. We're wonderfully, beautifully made. He created our body to heal itself, but you have to take care of your body. I mean, you have to put the right nutrition in. One thing that I've said recently is I used to live to eat. I mean, you know, I would think about meals all the time. What what good am I going to have here? Now I'm um, living to eat. No, I'm eating to live. I'm eating to live now. Um, you know, we used to have dessert every night. I mean, that was just a given. We would have some homemade dessert every night and, and we don't have them anymore. Um, don't even buy them anymore. Um, it's a treat now to be able to do that. But don't let your age, uh, your physical limitations, um, what others think about you. Yes, you're going to be out there. People are going to see you. But once you start the journey and you have all the right tools in place, you have Coach Carmen um, helping us all the way, staying accountable to our teammates, to our group. I mean, you can't lose. I mean, she's never had a person not lose weight. So um, take a chance. See what goodness can come out of starting over, even at age 66, starting over. I love that. Take a chance. Bet on yourself, right? Because at the end of the day, what do we have to lose? Right. Nothing. We have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And so I'm going to put down in the description box the link to our next season of the biggest transformation and take a leap of faith just like donna said apply worst case scenario you apply and you don't get in but it might be the thing you've been hoping for the thing you've been praying for and uh you know thank goodness for hannah who yes. drug you Absolutely. who persisted with you who believed in you no way <laughs> and and thank goodness for you donna for saying yes for thank saying you. yes because I know there's people that have watched and people that you've inspired that, wow, if she can do this, so can I. And I know people are going to be inspired by watching this interview and by watching your transformation. So yes. thank you for being on today and thank for you. every, go ahead. Thank you for all your leadership, um, all our 
help changing our, our mindset. I mean, you know, just everything all together it was, it was a great journey and, and it's not over. I mean, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. That's right. Because you are not just taught how to lose the weight, but how to maintain it. So exactly. when you get to your goal, which you'll be getting to soon, like you're going to live out in this right size body for the rest of your life. Exactly. So, so exactly. incredible. And for those of you watching, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, make sure to catch us next week. We're going to have another interview with one of Donna's castmates. And, you know, so often inspiration is something that moves us to get started. It helps us believe that, hey, if they did it, so can I, because they're no different. They put their pants on one leg at a time, just like I do. And so make sure to tune in for that. Make sure to give Donna some love down in the comments. If you know anybody who struggles with your weight, make sure to share this. We all could use more inspiration in our lives. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you next week. Same time, same place. Thank you.